Welcome back. I'm so excited that you are here. I have an amazing Bible, his story for you. Absolutely. So I'm always excited, right? Because of Jesus. He just wants to be everybody's friend. And that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to tell everybody he wants to be your friend. So, so let's get ready for an amazing Bible story. But before we go into the Bible story. Can we just pray before we go into it? And then we'll also pray afterwards. Ready? Put your hands together like this. Bow our heads and let's pray. Say these words. Dear God, help us with the Bible story and help us see what you want us to see. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. So let's dive right into the Bible story. Now today's Bible story is about Jesus meeting his friends. Have you ever wanted to meet your friends? You got friends, right? So here we are. Jesus had 12 friends. Do it with me. Five and five is 10. And add two more. Peace. That's what it means. Peace, right? 10, peace. 12 friends. So let's meet Jesus' 12 friends. See, after he finished preparing to talk to people, he said, listen, hmm, you know what, God? I need some friends because I want to teach them to talk to other people to follow me. So let's follow Jesus. Let's see who he met first. His first friend is Peter and his brother, Andrew. Wow, Peter and Andrew. They're like pens, right? You know, you can write with pens and color, like crayons too. Peter, Andrew, that's two. Let's meet some of more of Jesus' friends. James, John, that's four. Already, he has four brand new friends. Let's meet some more. The other James and Matthew. Oh, the other James, pretty bright guy. And Matthew, he was the guy that collected money. They called him a tax collector. So let's see how many friends Jesus gotten so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six friends. He's halfway there. You remember, he has 12. 
So Jesus was walking along and he was talking to more and more people and he met more friends. Let's walk along with Jesus. Who else did he meet? Philip? What's up, Philip? How you doing? High five. <gasps> Still working on that. All right. Bartholomew? What's your name? Does it begin in with a B? Mine begins with an S. I'm Mr. Sterling. Absolutely. Nice to meet you, too. Who else did he have? Thomas? Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, we got a little story about Thomas, and it's fun. Here we go. Judas? <sighs> yeah, that's a big story about Judas. More of Jesus' friends. Thaddeus. And the last friend Jesus had was Simon. Wow, that's a lot of friends. He had 12. And 12 that actually, you know, I know they, these are like pens, but our friends are like pens too, because they help us write a lot of our story. So Jesus' friends, that's what they did as Jesus told them about how he wanted more friends and he wanted all of his friends to just talk to more people, then they would gather more friends and more friends and more friends and more friends and we'll just have a big friend kingdom. And that's what Jesus wants from us. He wants from me and he wants from you. He wants you to get more friends. Tell other people about him. Jesus. Wow. And Jesus' friends are very colorful. I bet they'd make a very nice and wonderful, colorful story. Right? It's like a rainbow. Oh, God, you're so amazing. He's always artistic, isn't he? I think I'm going to take more time to get to know Jesus' friends. And I'm going to tell some other people about Jesus so I can get more friends, too. Because I want my friends colorful. Right? It makes good for a nice picture. So I want you to just remember that Jesus loves people and he loves to have more friends. So just like in Matthew chapter four, verse 19, it says, come, let's follow Jesus, right? Jesus said, come, follow me, all right? Do it with me, okay? We're gonna say, Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. All right, old kids, listen. Remember, Jesus had a lot of colorful friends, right? And they all had different jobs, but they all had the same mission to go tell other people that Jesus wants to be their friend. All right, okay. I'm getting ready now. I gotta get ready to make a colorful picture and make friends. Bye, old kids. See you next week. For the early followers of Jesus, cooperation was a way of life. They ate together, they prayed together, they shared everything they had, and other people noticed and wanted to find out more. Wouldn't it be cool if we could work together like that? Maybe we can. It really starts with one person seeing another person and then asking, how can I help? Then they come together and then they start cooperating. Then someone else sees and joins in. And before you know it, they're making beautiful music. It may not come natural at first. That's why you have to practice. You need to make a habit of working together with other people. Open your eyes and really look for people who might need something. If you don't see anyone around you who needs anything, try asking, how can I help? You can cooperate and share with others just a little bit every day 
until it does come natural and it feels like a way of life. The one thing to remember today is this. Make a habit of working together. You can't cooperate by yourself. So look for ways to work together and soon you'll be playing a different tune. See you around everybody.